Visual Adrenaline. Exactly what I was hoping for. Boom. Public Lake. Cropper was just immediately dropping down after seeing a couple marks on my graph. Immediately dropping down and uh, getting a bite and it being like a 11 inch crappie. So that's awesome. That's exactly what we're after. Nice big black crappie. We're gonna catch him here. It's right out in front of that little tree. It's a good spot. There's one. Whoa, it's a crappie. It's a little water. All right, they live in here. Ugh. Come on, fish. Come on, one. Like, there's one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, bro. Where'd you him at? Right on that other side of the tree. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Okay. Okay, I have my crappie and bluegill fillets all cut up. They're all deboned and ready to go in the bag. Okay, now we got our fillets in the bag. We're gonna add some vegetable oil, some Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, and then add some spice to it some uh, red cayenne and some paprika so we're gonna add the marinade in um, should be pretty liquidy add uh, enough oil based on your amount of fillets and then you're gonna let it sit for I'd say at least an hour and a half and no more than about four hours let it sit in the fridge so I'm gonna mix this up in a bowl oil that's probably too much But these are all rough estimates. Just enough to get some of each of the flavors in. Can add plenty of this. It doesn't overwhelm you like you think it would. It's a lot. Okay, now we got that all combined, mixed together. I also make another version of this that's a lot sweeter. You know, just adding like uh, brown sugar and honey to it. Okay, mix it together so it's all combined. into our ziplock. Gonna lock this up. Swirl it around, make sure everything is getting covered. It's gonna sit. I'll probably go about about three hours. Let it just marinate and then it'll be ready for the smoker. Okay, we just got the fish out of the fridge. They've been in there for a little under three hours, about 2.45. I just sprayed this, uh, this tray down, smoker tray with some Pam, so nothing sticks. Okay, these are now and seasoned and they're ready for the smoker.
Okay, I got the smoker at about 250, and I just got the fish in here. I'll let them go for like about 45 minutes, then I'll flip them. Okay, I just checked on the fish. It's looking just about done. We're going to give it a flip. Okay. These fish are pretty much all the way cooked. They're at about 130 degrees. Oh yeah, these guys are perfect. I'm just going to pull them off and give them a flip. Make sure everything's done. And it's spicy. Got some crunch on the outside from the smoke from the smoked edges. Very healthy alternative to frying fish. Alright, so I took my smoked fish, turned it into a, just an awesome looking sandwich. Got smoked fish, a little bit of mayo, lettuce, tomato, cheese, 